Now, I must say, I was a little skeptical about Megaforce in the 20th anniversary season of Power Rangers in general. Don't get me wrong, I was looking forward to it, but as the premiere crept closer and closer, I started to wonder whether Saban had played their cards too early with Samurai, being how the nostalgia factor was used in that season to signify their return to the series they created. Part of the reason I felt this way was because the promos for Megaforce had a theme that sounded a little too similar to Samurai's theme. However, after watching the first episode of Megaforce, titled Mega Mission, I can safely say that Saban has a clear idea of where they want this season to go. Firstly, they want that great ranger battle that was displayed in the trailer to be a significant part of the story, since that is the first thing seen in the episode, and it is even shown in the opening. Speaking of the opening, I rather like the Megaforce theme. Yes, it is similar to Samurai, but the beginning makes it very catchy and unique. Mega Mission also serves as kind of an homage to Day of the Dumpster, the first episode of Mighty Morphin, giving the impression that Saban is treating this season like an anniversary season. In the episode, as an alien species begins to invade Earth, a descendant of Zordon, known as Gosei, awakens from a long sleep and asks his robotic assistant Tensu to recruit five teenagers to protect the planet. Those five teens are Jake, Emma, Noah, Gia, and Troy. What I like about this group is that they are not already friends. I mean, Jake and Noah are friends, and so are Emma and Gia, but aside from that, this episode is probably the first time all five teens have interacted with each other outside of high school. Anyway, the teens are teleported to a command center and told that they have been chosen to become Power Rangers. And while at first they are reluctant, they do accept the task and are immediately teleported into a part of the city that is being attacked. I can only assume that this is what would have happened if the original team had agreed with Zordon in the first place during Day of the Dumpster. The teens fight off the attacking Louise as best they can, but when they get cornered, they decide to try their new powers and more. And I gotta say, I like the design of the suits. The colored tops and white pants look very cool, and the colors are balanced well. Also, the helmets are very reminiscent to that of Mighty Morphin. In their morph state, the rangers are able to dispatch of the loogies and defeat a monster in the process. And the episode ends with the teens saying that they are ready to defend Earth as Power Rangers. Overall, I describe this episode as a modern take on Day of the Dumpster. Noah is almost the same character as Billy, except he's not as socially awkward. In many of the scenes, such as the teens arriving at the command center, getting ready to morph, and even the end of the episode, has dialogue nearly identical to Day of the Dumpster. They even have a hangout spot called Ernie's Brain Freeze. Still, the episode has a lot of interesting and new ideas, and I am looking forward to what else it has in store this season.